Hey guys, my name is Lena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw avocado in Adobe Illustrator in 3D and if you're interested, please keep watching! Avocados are a source of key nutrients including healthy fats and fiber and if you never tried avocado, I advise you to try it and even we have National Avocado Day, it will be on July 31st. And now you see my poster with design from the tutorial. If you want to see that poster a little closer and to download fonts from that poster, I invite you to my Telegram channel. The link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw 3D avocado. This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original vector file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw. My workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. Uh, let's take that green color and rectangle tool. Let's create a rectangle like that. Take um, direct selection tool, select these two points and hold and drag to round corners. Uh, select that point, move like that and the same here. Okay, now select that corner, round the corner, select this one, round the corner. Now let's add anchor point tool, add here the point and the same here. Select that point and move here, select that point and move like this, around the corners. And here okay uh, you can stay like that or make it a little wider now uh, let's go to object path offset path minus 7 okay and uh, take green color again object path offset path and minus 20 okay and take this color select this brown color and ellipse tool create the ellipse here Okay, uh, now let's create the face. Uh, the face will be in kawaii style. It's a very um, popular style. Uh, so it's very popular and cute style. Uh, so let's take violet color. Let's make it a little closer and take violet color and ellipse tool create the ellipse change fill to stroke take that uh, brush the size tool direct selection tool move it here direct selection tool select that point delete okay now let's squeeze it a little and make it a little shorter. Now we need to take rounded rectangle tool and create the first eye. 
Okay, take uh, the same brush and the same size. Okay, now select that point and delete it. Delete this one. Now uh, select that point and move it a little up okay and let's play with eye a little make it smaller squeeze it a little let's move some points so let's play a little with the eye Okay, let's move that part a little up. Select that point and move it a little up. Now a little squeeze the mouth. Okay. Now select that point and move it a little down. Okay, we have here two points, so we need to move that one the same down. Okay, now we need to copy and paste the eye, hold ALT and make the copy. You can stay it like that or reflect vertical as you like. Okay, let's align the eyes and all face elements okay it's uh, pretty good now let's add the cheek we need to take pink color in the fill we need pink color in the fill and ellipse tool, rotate, make it a little wider, opacity multiply and transparency 40%. Okay. Well, move here, bring that eye to front, now copy rotate and put here okay the face is pretty cute select move here ctrl g to group it select this element ctrl g go to 3d and materials you will find that window windows and 3d and materials and you need to be sure that your avocado is grouped okay now go to inflate here the same options select that option now go to materials and move sliders like me you can play with uh, options as you like it's my vision of that design you can create your own vision so you can play with elements uh, and options as you like here lights and move sliders like me if you want the result like mine and 
add shadows. Okay, now let's rotate avocado. Okay, now let's select the face, rotate it, and bring to avocado. Now select that color, and uh, in the fill, we need to take rectangle tool and create background. Now send background to back. Now we need to take dark brown color and ellipse tool, create the ellipse. Okay, bring the ellipse and background to back. You can stay the ellipse like that, or you can play with points to make more interesting and more abstract shape. Let's play with points. Like this. And I think that shape more interested. Okay. Now let's take white color and for example brush tool with that option and white color we need in the stroke. You can create hands and legs with help of brush tool, uh, but I think here is better to use a uh, pen tool. Let's take a uh, pen tool. And let's create hands and legs. If you can't use pen tool, you will find tutorial about pen tool uh, with task below this tutorial. It's uh, on my YouTube channel. So, if you want to practice with pen tool, go to that tutorial. If you know everything about pen tool, let's move on. Let's add that brush to hands and legs. And let's fix a little legs with direct section tool. Let's move points. If you need, you always can add point with add anchor point tool. Or you can redraw the line. Okay, it's ready. Now let's select legs and um, background elements and back send to back. Okay, now let's uh, lock the layer with avocado here to move hands and legs. like that okay and now let's um, unlock the, the layer let's up move up a little our design Okay, now let's uh, take um, white and black gradient and ellipse tool, radial gradient. 
we need to uh, take yellow color for example that one and to add here and you need to be sure that you have a black color with six zeros to use opacity screen only with black color with six zeros ingredient it will work i copied the ellipse and add one more light okay and now you can close the window with 3d and materials and go to uh, effect raster settings document raster settings and change here uh, to 150 ppi it will be more quality in your design well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design and if you're interested to create content about easter you will find that content below this video there is some my tutorials about easter and i wish you a happy easter that will be on march 31